Hello guys, welcome to another video of Civil Craft YouTube channel and in this video we are going to discuss which is the best coupling, lapping or welding of reinforcement. And without any delay, let's jump into the video. The lapping of rebars has long been considered an effective economical splicing method. But lap joints are not always an appreciable solution for connecting rebars. Today's more demanding concrete designs are compelling engineers to consider alternatives to conventional lap splices which is mechanical splice or rebar couplers. So what is rebar coupler? Rebar couplers or mechanical splices are used to connect reinforcement bars of various grades and diameters. They eliminate the use of lapping or welding. Rebar couplers can join rebars with full tension capacity. The ends of steel bars to be joined are provided with threads and a coupler is joined rebars end to end which transfers the loads on the rebar across the connection. They are more efficient than lapping splices because they do not depend on the concrete for load transfer. Rebar couplers have all the essential features required in a rebar joining system. They are designed with unequal simplicity of installation to join the rebars of the same diameter where one bar is movable and rotatable. The coupler system is available in various styles to meet virtually any application. They are used in bar to bar connections, pre caging applications, hook bar systems, closure ports, precast connections, transition splices, segmental construction, and connections to structural steel. The most popular mechanical splicing systems are interlock, quick width system, speed sleeve, terminator, lock. Form saver, tapper thread system, and CAD weld splices. Now let's discuss what are the advantages of rebar couplers or mechanical splices. The self aligning tapper thread system of mechanical splices maintain load path continuity of the reinforcement, providing full strength in tension and compression stresses. Mechanical splices do not depend on the concrete for load transfer. Improved structural integrity can be achieved through rebar couplers. Rebar couplers eliminate the errors which are caused due to providing wrong lap length. A common problem during the concrete placing is that the concrete can't be poured well through the rebar cages. The congestion due to lapping restricts the flow and distribution of larger sized aggregates and limits the performance of vibrator. Mechanical splices significantly reduces this congestion. It develops higher tensile strength than lap splicing in RCC structures. The amount of steel used in the reinforcement is less when compared to lapping, reducing the cost. It eliminates the TD lap splice calculations. Inspection of connection in rebar couplers is easy. It provides great quality control. It is quick and easy to install, increasing the speed of works. Devolts avoided enabling reuse of frameworks. Reduced construction cycle system can be achieved through rebar couplers. It is economical. Minimal wastages of steel when using Rebar couplers can be achieved. Now let's make a comparison between couplers, lapping and welding under 13 parameters. First, load path continuity. Load path continuity is accurate for coupling whereas for lapping and welding it's not too good. Load transfer is great in coupling whereas for welding and lapping it depends on the concrete used. Structural integrity is great as mentioned before in coupling whereas for lapping and welding it is moderate. 
Steel used is less for coupling system, whereas for lapping and welding, it requires extra steel. Rebar congestion. Rebar couplers does not create any congestion. But for lapping and welding, it creates congestion, difficulty in concrete pouring and vibration. Splice calculation. Splice calculation is not required for coupling, whereas for lapping, it is required. Supervising is easy for coupling and lapping, and for welding, it's not easy. Quality control can be split into three, where coupling provides a great quality control, where for lapping it's moderate, and welding it provides low to medium quality control. Cost is minimum for coupling rebars, and for lapping it is high, and for welding it's little bit low when compared to coupling and lapping. Wastage is created is minimal for coupling, whereas high for lapping and welding. Time required. Coupling rebus takes less time, which is a fast work process. For lapping and welding, it's time consuming. Installation is very easy for coupling and it's easy for lapping and for welding, a skilled labor or a welder is required to achieve the process. So, from the above comparison, we can see rebar couplers or mechanical splices are far better than lapping and welding. We can use it in any construction effectively. And that's all for this video guys. Please do like and share this video if you find it useful and subscribe to Civilcraft YouTube channel for more interesting video on civil engineering.